Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and today I'm coming with you for another healthy meal. It's a herb cured pork. First off, you're going to get your sage, about one tablespoon, a snip fresh sage or three fourths a teaspoon of dry sage crushed. Then you're going to get one tablespoon snipped fresh thyme or three-fourths a teaspoon of dried thyme crushed. Next is one tablespoon of snipped fresh rosemary or three-fourths a teaspoon of dried rosemary crushed. Then you're going to use two cloves of garlic minced. You can either mince it up yourself, chop it up yourself, or buy it at the grocery store like I did. Then you're going to use one and a half teaspoons of coarsely ground black pepper. Then one teaspoon of coarse salt. Then a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Then you're going to get your one, two to two and a half pound bonus pork top loin, Roy's. Um, the single loin, um, yeah, mine wasn't a single loin, mine ended up being a two. <laughs> but you know, if you watch my videos, I never have exactly what the recipe calls for. I like to do my own thing. Then you're going to sprinkle Rub over all sides of roast. You're going to rub it in with your fingers. Place roast in a baking dish. Cover tightly and chill for 4 to 24 hours. Okay, so I don't know what happened to the footage of me cooking the pork, but this recipe is so good that I still wanted to share it with you. So I'll just tell you what the directions say and how to cook it. For a charcoal grill, arrange medium coals around a drip pan. Test for medium low heat above pan. Insert an oven going meat thermometer into the center of the roast. Place roast on a grill rack over the drip pan. Cover and grill for one to one and a fourth hours or until thermometer registers 150 degrees Fahrenheit. For a gas grill, preheat grill, reduce heat to medium low, adjust for indirect cooking, place roast on grill rack over burner that is off, grill as above. And then you're going to remove roast from grill, cover light, tightly with foil, let stand for 15 minutes before slicing. The temperature of the meat after standing should be 160 degrees Fahrenheit, and this makes six servings. If this sounds good to you and you think you would like to make it, leave it down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss any of my other videos. I'm going to be including some more healthy meals very soon. Alright, thanks. Bye.